This is a golden motor hub motor and there's a uh, Chinese LifePo battery in the back. And these are basically what's going to be installed except the actual motor is a front hub motor, not a rear hub motor, but I'm just showing you the pieces. Okay, it comes with a motor laced into a hub. This is a 26 inch hub and the other one's going to be a 26 inch hub. And from there you get uh, some cables and the cables all have connectors on them and it's pretty clear when you look at these connectors and cables they actually come installed I mean they're all plugged in so what you have are parts really that have to slide onto the handlebars so this was the original shifter cheap shifter and that's just loose behind that we have a golden motor brake uh, and this is a brake with a connector on it and a cable and the cable is there to cut off the motor if you hit the brakes but like I say it's all plugged in and when the motor is installed you plug the one remaining plug here into the motor. Okay, this is the cruise control basically. If you're moving along and you press the red button, it will maintain the speed and then when you hit the brake lever it will disengage. Next is a combination throttle, twist throttle. It's not turning because I don't have any tension on it, but it turns, half turns. Uh, cut off switch, on and off switch, and a relatively worthless battery gauge. Full, half empty. Well, forget it. Just if you have one and it's on empty, that means something, but it doesn't mean anything else anywhere else. So, on the other side, there's another brake. And this is the original Tektro, not the uh, fancy cutoff brake from Golden. And that is it. Why is this a simple kit? Well, if you want to look over here, this is a Mac motor. It's a similar front hub. Uh, but with the Mac, there's a big fat cable, this guy here and it comes up and there's a lot of little doodads in here including the controller that are all plugged in so it's an additional bit of storage that you lose and it's more cables and it's not necessarily going to make it easier it's not going to make it hard but it's not going to make it easier so this uh, is another example of why it's sort of a pain to do a DIY uh, you know here you have just a whole bunch of stuff starting with a mirror and then brakes and a shifter because this has front and rear derailers and you get over here and you have all this stuff kind of on top of it each other and that's the brake and the same little deal with the throttle and the speed control and so it's all kind of jammed in, but it, you know, if you play with it enough, you can usually find something that works. It's not going to be neat, but there really isn't a whole lot of reason to be too neat. It's just, you know, if you want neat, buy a Stromer. So this is a $270 Bikes Direct. I think they call it a cruiser or beach cruiser. Uh, it's a uh, sort of pedal forward, not in an extreme way. It has a chromoly fork, which is why I decided to buy this bike. Um, you want a steel fork and you want a torque arm if you're going to use a front hub. So that's it. I mean, the controller on this motor is right here. 
in the motor and here's some vents and everything so it's supposed to be pretty solid and here are the uh, cables this is for a USB or a Bluetooth uh, setup so the Bluetooth actually is a little doodad that you stick on the fork and then the very last connections are red and black for uh, positive and negative battery and here's the battery and I'm rigging up a cable for it but the point really is you, you're going to end up with a motor without a tire and a tube so you have to put the tube and the tire you might as well get a good tire and a good tube uh, so you do that then you have to put the wheel on the fork and then you have to lay out all this stuff and plug it in and I'm going to put the battery in here for now. It fits quite nicely. I'm going to put a cable on the battery, or not a cable, I'm going to put a connector on the... Well, the battery already has a connector. I'm going to put a connector on the motor. And supposedly that's it. I mean, it should be about a, an hour. Uh, the only thing that's annoying can be taking the original hand grips off. These are the original hand grips. But I used a little plastic, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, it's actually a stylus from a Palm Pilot, but anyway, something that's soft enough not to scratch, and uh, firm enough to not break, and thin enough to slide in there, and once you slide it in there, I put Windex in, just dribble a little Windex in, and then take two pairs, or take a pair of gloves, two hands with gloves, and start working them. I, they say you can take them off with high pressure from an air compressor but I don't happen to have one so that's it I mean those are the steps that I'm assuming I'll have to readjust the brakes but that should be it